Um, Lily, the last time you were here, we discussed how important it is for you to quit smoking. You said you weren't ready at the time. Have you given quitting any more thought since that conversation? Yes, I have. And I do realize that my emphysema will only get worse the longer I smoke, but I'm still not quite ready. Since I was here last month, I started a new job, and I had to move to be closer to the office. I'm going through a lot right now, so it's just not a good time. But I have put quitting on the top of my to-do list as soon as my life settles down. I understand. When do you think you might be ready to set a quit date? Well, I promise I will have a quit date when I come back next month for my refill. That's great. Look, in the meantime, here's something that you can do to help yourself get ready to quit. From here on, every time you want a cigarette, I want you to stop yourself and ask, do I really want this? If you do, then smoke it. And if not, put it back, even if you have one a few minutes later. I guess I can do that, but what will that do? Well, Lily, half the cigarettes people smoke are done absentmindedly. Uh, trying what I suggest will help you become aware of the routines and patterns of your smoking, and then we can use that information when we put together your quitting plan once you're ready. That makes sense. I also want to let you know there are three non-prescription medications available. Uh, the gum, the patch, and the lozenge. Um, there's a brochure that has information about all three. Take a look, give it some thought, and then we'll talk more when you're ready to quit. I don't know much about these, so this should help. Finally, I, I want to remind you that I'll be here to help. Or if it's more convenient, you can call the toll-free quit line. 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Or you can even do both if you want. The important thing is to get as much help as you need. I'll see you next time. Thanks.